I remember when I lost my mind. Literally the other day. Hello and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Vanessa. This is Nessa CX Beauty. And today we are going to be swatching using and reviewing the brand new Glam Light Donut Palette. This is her. She's about the size of my hand spread out. She's a tiny, tiny palette. On the inside, there are 10 eyeshadows. Well, nine eyeshadows and then a highlighter in the middle. So this is it. And then it does have a little mirror. This palette does retail for $22, but you can get 15% off using my code Nessa C. I am a Glam Light affiliate, but y'all, that does not influence the way I feel about the palettes. Because if y'all have seen my Street Talker review, I'll have that up in the cards right now. I did not like the formula or anything about this palette besides one shade, so I am not fearful of making a bad review. But I did want to give it another shot because I do love a lot of my Glam Light palettes, so I decided to pick this one up. But if you're old to the channel, you know how this goes down. And if you're new, I'm explaining it to you. So first off, we're going to swatch all 10 shades on my arms so y'all can see how it looks on my tan skin color. Then we're going to use it on the eyes because swatches tell lies. So then I'll be talking about my final thoughts. And if you guys are interested in seeing how this eyeshadow palette performs, just continue watching. All right, so we're gonna start off with the swatches. I'm gonna go into Jelly. So Sweet. Maple. Chocolate. Frosty. I Sing. Oh. That one didn't swatch too well. Sprinkles. Grape. Strawberry. And last but not least, glazed. And this is the entire eyeshadow palette swatched out. These shimmers look stunning. And now on to the look. Okay, so to start off the look, we're gonna head into Jelly with my Morphe M321 brush and we're gonna pack this all over the crease. Like, really, really pack it in. Following through the entire crease. Yeah. Then I'll use my Morphe M507, tap in a little tiny bit to Jelly Hold the tip of the brush and just try to blend out the harsh line as best as I can. This is going to take a little while. I remember when I lost my mind. Literally the other day. Y'all, I've been going through it this month. Um, which is why I kind of like stopped posting last week. Um trying to get into the right headspace to film again because y'all oh, the story time I will have I don't even know if I want to hear it but mm, I don't even know if I want to tell it because it's so freaking bad but I am gonna be getting um a tarot reading so I might want to post that on my channel too All right, and now that we have that all blown out, I'm going to be cutting my crease with my P. Louise Eye Base and my Olimar Packing Brush. The crease cut is going to be a semi-circle, so not a regular cut crease. It's going to follow all the way through to the outer V. Cut creases make me not want to breathe, but 
once you have like a semi half circle you are good now for these shimmers because y'all know i'm all about shimmers and the shortcoming of the street taco was these shimmers these better impress me but i'm going in with my anastasia packing brush into strawberry and packing this on my inner and outer corner these shimmers are like a super shock shadow formula but they're actually picking up way better than the ones in the street taco palette i do use the same brush for all shimmers because if it doesn't pick up with this brush i don't trust it as a shimmer and unfortunately for the street taco that wasn't the case but it looks like this one is working out pretty well for us we're gonna dig into sprinkles now and just post that right next to the pink that we just laid down Oh my god, this blue is gorgeous. Okay. Redemption at its freaking finest right now because something definitely changed. Okay, and then once we have those blended into one another, I'm going to go in with a white eyeliner and just trace the top of my cut crease. All right, y'all, so this is what we have for one eye. I am going to go do it on my other eye and finish up the rest of my face so we can do the lower lash line together. Okay, so we are back for the lower lash line. I have not worn makeup like this in forever due to quarantine. So I'm just staring at myself like, wow. <laughs> but we're going to hit Jelly with my Morphe M507 and tap that on the outer and inner corner of my lower lash line. just crazy I haven't seen myself like this in forever and head into the shade icing to kind of mimic the top putting this on the center and icing is not too pigmented but building it up works and then finally for the inner corner we're gonna go into glazed and this is a Real Technique packing brush, dense packing brush. And that is a beautiful, beautiful highlight. It's the biggest pan in the whole entire palette because you're supposed to use it as an overall face highlighter. So I'm going to do that now. Going into Glazed with my highlighter brush from Luxie, I believe. And we're going to see how it works. So that is she. I do wish that it wasn't too like, you know, all over the place. I wish that it was like not as glittery. It is a beautiful shine though. I just feel like I should have wet my brush a little bit to kind of control where glazed is going because it's kind of flying everywhere. <sighs> And it's all over the palette just saying <laughs> but it is a pretty shade it just needs a little bit of control again wetting the brush would fix that really quick so this is the finished look with the glam light donut palette i am definitely way more impressed with this one then I was with their mini street taco. She is coming out with like mini palettes because one of the biggest criticisms that Glam Light has is that her palettes are huge. Let me get one for reference. This is the cake palette compared to the donut palette. Yeah, her palettes can run very big. So a lot of people said that they wanted more travel friendly palettes and I think that that's what she's doing with her mini series, but I definitely, definitely prefer that y'all try the donut over the taco. 
The regular taco is actually my favorite glam light palette, but the mini taco is my least favorite glam light palette ever. And I actually put it up on Poshmark if anybody's interested in trying it at a cheaper price. But this one is good in my book. The mattes were great and the shimmers were phenomenal. Even though they were a little bit of the super shock shadow formula, I feel like she changed something about it. Like they were very, very, very soft, just like the shimmers in this palette. But the payoff with my brush was actually beautiful. I did not have to go in with a finger or wet my brush. But yeah, that's all I have to say about this palette. If y'all want it, y'all can pick it up. It is available now. Have a great day or night wherever you are in the world. And I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.